Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 22nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the logical or operator. Now in the last tutorial we saw the logical AND operator and uh, we saw that the AND operator makes it necessary for all the conditions um, to result into a true value, right? So all conditions need to be satisfied and uh, only if that is the case the logical AND operator would allow the IF statement to work. But with the logical OR operator, that's not necessary. And, uh, you know, if the OR operator is working on, let's say, five conditions, then even if one of those five conditions would evaluate to true, then, uh, you know, we would be good to go. The entire thing would work. So let me demonstrate the operator to you in a program, and that would make it easier for us to understand what the operator actually does. So as you can see, I've uh, saved this file. It's called logical underscore OR dot C. On line one, I have a comment. I also have my header file and main function in place. So we can type in the code that uh, we need for the program. And uh, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is, um, in this program, I'm going to ask the user to enter the alphabet A as input. And um, well, if the input would be A, then we'll display one message. If it would not be A, we'll display something else. And that's something we always do. But the input, even if it is A, it could either be small A or big A that is lowercase a or capital, uh, sorry, the uppercase a. And um, that could be, you know, because maybe the user is shifting up or, you know, you, you can't be sure of it. And maybe the user's caps lock key is on. So the input could be uppercase a. And if it's off, then obviously it will be lowercase a. So, you know, since the lowercase a and the uppercase a both have different ASCII values, you would need two test conditions and one of them is going to be to check whether the alphabet entered is lowercase a and the other one is going to be to check whether the alphabet entered is big A. So let's first declare our character and I'm going to call uh, mine ch and uh, you know I'll use printf to ask the user to enter the alphabet a enter alphabet A, I'll put a colon, make things neat, I'll put a semicolon to terminate this one and then I'll use scanf to get my input. Now remember since uh, we're dealing with a character here we'll have to use the percentage C format specifier and I'll provide scanf the address by using the address of operator and the name of the variable which is ch, put a semicolon to terminate this one and uh, then we're going to have the if statement and the test condition this time again uh, we're going to use the logical or operator between the two test conditions but the test conditions individually are going to be their ch is e sorry uh, what did i do or ch is equal to small a or ch is equal to capital a and uh, remember we are not assigning the value to ch so you have to use the equality uh, operator uh, equality check operator rather and that is the equal to symbol twice right so these are our two test conditions now you know a is a so whether the user has entered the small a or the big a we need the a statement to work so you know since we are interested in only one of these statements uh, one of these conditions to uh, be satisfied we are going to use the logical or operator uh, over here and we cannot use the logical and because you know since we're dealing with character input here we can have just one input and it can either be small a or it can be upper a if it is a otherwise it can be some other character but if it's a then you know it has to be either small case a or the uh, upper case a so you have to put the logical OR operator between these two conditions and the logical OR operator is the pipe symbol twice, right? So if you don't know where you can find that, then over the enter key, you see the, um, what is this? I guess this is the back backslash, people call it backslash and um, you have to shift up on that to get uh, two of these symbols, right? So you put uh, two of uh, two pipe symbols between your test conditions to get the logical OR operator and then within the block of if I'm going to have printf to display a message like uh, good job and uh, in the block of else I'll have uh, another printf statement but that's going to display a different message like um, incorrect input right so I'll put a semicolon to terminate this and let me run the program for you guys first to see what happens 
So in the output window, I see the message enter alphabet A. So firstly, let me enter something else like uh, the dollar symbol, right? So if I enter this, I see the message incorrect input, right? And uh, that is something we expected. But if I execute the program and if I type in small a and press the enter key, I see good job. And if I run the program and uh, type in the uppercase a and press enter, I still see the message good job. So that's what the all logical operator does for you. You know, if you want one of the many conditions to uh, evaluate into a true value, uh, then you have to, you know, use the logical OR operator because the AND operator makes it necessary for all the conditions to result into true, whereas the OR operator just needs, um, you know, one of the many conditions to uh, be satisfied. So that's what OR uh, does. And in the next tutorial, we're going to check out the last of the three logical operators. It's the NOT operator. And uh, till then, take care of yourself and um, I'll see you guys soon. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one.